Okay, so we've got a sphere and a cone. Um, the cone has a height of h, that's what we can see. The radius of the cone is three times the radius of the sphere. So if this has got an r, a radius of r, this has got a radius of three times as much. So three r's, three r. Um, given the volume of the sphere is equal to the volume of the cone. So again, we've got the formula page to help us here. So we know the volume of a sphere. Volume of sphere, we can copy this straight from the formula page. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And we know the volume of the cone is 1 third pi r squared h. Um, r in the case of the cone is 3r, r in the case here, so we can leave this one as it is. And for this one, r is actually 3r. So the radius is 3r. So volume is 1 third pi 3r squared, all squared times h. So then we just have to simplify. So we know they're equal, so this is equal to this. So let's make them equal. 4 over 3 pi r cubed equals 1 over 3 pi 3 r all squared times h. What we're trying to do, we're trying to get um, an expression for the radius in terms of h. So r equals something h or something like that. r equals anyway. So we just need to simplify this. Um, if I multiply both sides by 3, I can get rid of these thirds at the front. Um, so I have 4 pi r cubed equals pi 3r all squared h. Um, I can divide both sides by pi. So that will just disappear. Um, 3r h. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. So 3r squared means 3r times 3r. So that's 9r squared h. Um, divide through by r squared. So this will go from here. It's going to be 4r equals 9h. And I want r equals something. So all I've got to do is divide by 4. And that's it. That's my final answer.